Hey, welcome to wheretoland.com. It's a pilot pre-flight resource for filtering out airports, displaying them graphically. Uh, anything you need to do for getting your next training sortie or $100 hamburger run. The uh, website here you can see shows all the airports in the United States as default when you first go to the site. Uh, the first thing you can do is sign in. The site will actually work without signing in, but create an account enables all of the features. So we got Google, Facebook, or Twitter sign-ins. I use Google for mine. I'm already signed into Google on this device, so it logs in automatically. You can see up on the top right, it shows my call sign, which is just my username. In your preferences, you can set that. You can make it public or private if you want, and then set up your default airfield filters, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, and your default zoom level, which is device dependent. Once you've uh, signed in or not, the, the first part is the airfield filters. So it'll show all the airfields in the U United States and you can filter it by either just public and private or only public, which is what we'll do. Towered and uncontrolled, we'll just go with only uncontrolled fields. Your surface types, hard turf, dirt, or water, there's an explanation there. And then uh, by length, so we'll say we want to min width based on our aircraft requirements and told but we want to go to something relatively narrow so let's say we want it max 50 feet and we don't want it any longer than 5,000 feet and you can see that reduced our, fil or our airfields down to the ones that meet that criteria the green ones are ones I've been to the red ones are ones I haven't been to and then you can see over here in the Rockies, I've got bucket list airfields, green and red. So those are set under my airfields. You can see on the left, all the ones uh, on the top are airfields I've been to. It's the FAA identifier, not the ICAO. If you're unsure, you can use the airport lookup tool and just type in whichever field you want by name. So there's Minneapolis, whichever one you'd want, and you can see what the identifier is. Uh, below that in the airfield list, your bucket list if you want to put any there, places you're desiring to go and you can see the icons there below. You can further filter uh, beyond the type and width by instrument approach here. Let's say we only want to go to places with a GPS approach. So we got that selected now. And then lastly you can select co-pilot. So any other user that's got a public uh, account, you can select theirs. Uh, if you're going to go flying with them and find places you've been to. So Slayer 39, I've got selected. We'll make this a little less restrictive so we can hopefully see some fields that he's been to. And there you go. So the purple ones are ones that both of us have been to. You can see that down on the bottom here. Just blue ones, there's one there, is a field that Slayer 39's been to but I have not been to. So that's all the filters there explained. You got your airfields explained. The last two options here are uh, center the map on your location. Uh, as long as you allow it with your device, it should work for you. So if you're panning around and need to get back, you can just hit that button. And then if you want to search for a field, let's say we didn't know exactly where MSP was, we can search for it and it'll center up on that airfield for you within the search. Finally, while you're looking around for these fields, you got your criteria. Uh, just tap on the airfield icon, it'll pull up the identifier, the name, if it's public or private use, controlled or uncontrolled, and then the runway type and dimensions for each one and any instrument approaches. So you can see Princeton here has a couple of approaches. If we pick, um, you can see here we go, Little Falls has got both a hard and a turf runway with their dimensions listed there. And then you can use the buttons there to add it to your field so you don't have to type it in if you want and also to remove it if you just tap it. And that is a quick overview of wheretoland.com. If you have any questions, you can use Click About Us. There's some contact info here on the bottom if you have any issues, uh, and as well as our privacy policy in terms of service. Hope you enjoy the site.